Hello friends, in this tutorial we will be doing four things. First, we will move our menu from the top here to the main uh, the website templates that we are currently using. Secondly, the images that we have in our layout, maybe the logo, let's decide, let's say we we'll go to our about page or contact page. The logo no longer displays and the images at the foot are no longer displays. So we fix that as well so that anytime we go outside the landing page, we will be able to still see our logo and the images at the footer. Um, thirdly, we will also move our contact um, template. Currently, we have the whole template here. So, I have the website template that I'm currently working on here in this place. So, I will move this uh, design from this point to this point. And lastly, I will uh, do it such that we will also be able to submit the contact from that is being submitted uh, on our, uh, the, the information be submitted on our contact page into the database. Let's get started. So starting with the um, the, lay, uh, the layout, for us to fix the images at the bottom there, we need to go to our layout and we need to go to our layout. Let's say we, let's start with the logo and had uh, our e URL connection link. So starting with that, we'll do URL. So we need to call our URL class before we can make use of it. So getting started with that, we need to use So let's go to our website and refresh Now we have our logo display, so we just need to copy this and put on um, the footer as well so that we can have this image displayed. So I think we're good. Save, we don't have your class down. So we need to add that as well. Let me just copy this from this point and paste. Good. Now we all have our images working properly either we are on the landing page or at the landing page. So the second thing we need to work on now uh, is uh, moving our contact design here down to this place and replacing our form from this place to replace this over here. It might not look exactly as it is because we might not really want to dive into the uh, the user interface but we just uh, once we move our, our design to this page we will then fix, connect the forms here to a database so that any form any information that is submitted on this page will be saved in our database. So first I'll copy the form from this place down to this place. So let me go to the templates, which is this. From here, I have um, contact us. So I think our form contact space start from this place, from this point to this point. So we'll copy and we'll go to our site contact. So all I just need to do is paste this and I will copy the form to this place so 
So let's see how it looks like. Um, refresh. So we have it here, but it doesn't look exactly the same way. So I'm sure you know how to be able to make sure that um, the name and the email stands on uh, on the same um, role, but um, using um, div column of six and six for name and email. So let's just delete this and create the database that our form will be submitted into. And we'll remove the one at the bottom here. So now we we'll create our database. We need to create um, table table for our contact page. So we look at name, email, subject, and body. Let us also know that we have a model that came with the contact form by default. So we can find that in here. So now what we need to do is we need to create a table that will align with the contact form. So we come to our database, we create a new table, we'll say contact form. So let me add um, three feet. So I have ID, um, name, email, subject, body, created at. So I'll set my created at to timestamp and the, core, the default value should be uh, current timestamp. So my body should be text because I don't want to um, limit the length of content of um, text that I should accept. So my subjects are limited to 100. My email, also I will limit it to 100. My name, I will limit it to 100. Then the ID, I will make it an auto increment also. Make this the primary index. So I'll click on save. So now this, our table has been created. So the next thing for us to do is we'll go to our model, contacts model that has been created for us. We need to add table name to it. Um, I just added this before I started the tutorial for the contact. So this should be contact form, which is the table name. By default, you will not find this here. It's going to be like this. So you need to add this and change. make sure the table name aligns uh, with what you have here. So the next thing for us to do is, by default, um, the action that will be done after a user submits um, at the contact form is it will be sent to an email created for this. To be sent to an email. But what we really want to achieve is for the user to be able to, for the information submitted from the contact page to be sent into our database. So we also create, we also add to this that information should be added to our database. So we need to start with model. Let's say model equal new contact form, which is this. Then the model So let's check our database for that case. We have name, image, subject, body here. Yeah. These are the four things we need to look at. And also, we need to save, save this. So that's all we'll do for now. So let's give it a try and see how it works.
go to our contacts we'll refresh and let's say let me miss testing at email.com some subject body or text so I need to add my verification code Not correct. I think this should be L. Since calling unknown method, contact from C. This should work. Oh, good. So now what we need to make sure is, by default, this is uh, working with model. We need to make sure it's running on active record. So we need to have active record to this place. Active record. So we need to have that. So by default, once I click on tab, when um, the auto drawdown down comes in, automatically, automatically has it to uh, my use um, my use um, classes in the in the current class I'm currently working on. So I'll save and I'll refresh. It says verification code incorrect. So let's give it a try. Let me click on it again. Ram O W B Q. I think everything went well. So let me click on this and see. No, it is not saved. Let's add a force into this place and see if our record is saved. G E L E Q I S. Let's refresh. Good. Now our record is not saved. Our record is not saved. Do a record is created, but the data are not created in here. So we need to make sure that. Um, everything is working properly let's go back to our code and remove this remove this because we now have an active record for all this so we'll comment this out comment this out and we'll go back to our controller Go to our controller and let's comment that I think that we are good. Let me refresh. Uh, let's see, send me email at email.com something something. Something for body. The blue ID DV. No. OL. So let's check our record. Good. 